Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. You can save images that you have scanned to an image file on your computer, which you can then load into Photoshop. Photoshop can also import images directly from any compatible scanner attached to your computer using either an Adobe Photoshop compatible scanner driver or what's called the Twain interface. Twain is an interface used for acquiring images captured by certain types of scanners, digital cameras, and other image capturing devices. You must install the hardware and the software first and then restart your computer before you can import the images into Photoshop. You can then select File and then Import from the menu bar and then select the name of the device from which you wish to import the images. Now other types of cameras and scanners can be used to import images using the WIA or Windows Image Acquisition Support. This would only be on computers running Windows XP and later. In this case, Photoshop works with Windows and your digital camera or scanner to import the images. So to use this method, select File, Import, and then WIA Support from the menu bar. Then select the destination on your computer to which you wish to save the images. You can click Browse and go through your folders and choose whichever you like. We'll leave it in this Pictures folder. Now make sure that you have the Open Acquired Images in Photoshop, this checkbox right here. Make sure you have that checked if you want to open them in Photoshop. However, if you have a large number of images to import, then deselect it. If you want to save the images into a subfolder with the current date, then check the Unique Subfolder right here checkbox. When you have set the options you want, click Start. If you're using a digital camera, select the camera from which you want to import the images. And we have that one choice right there. Then we'll click OK and it will establish a connection to that digital camera. It'll connect and once it connects to that digital camera or other device that you have connected there, you should see all of the images that are associated with it, as we see here as thumbnails. Now if you're using a scanner, you select the scanner, of course, instead of the digital camera. Then we can select our images here, and then simply click Get Pictures to import those pictures. And it'll import those pictures directly from our device. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.